All right, so hello everyone and welcome to my channel's first build log. Um, this first portion is going to be the rationale of the components that you see in front of you. Um, and mostly this is a budget build. This is not meant for, you know, a million dollars. This is purely cutting out whatever I had to to get the system. And the main reason for that is I wanted a system for uh, so I can make better content and so that I can also, you know, use my school loans that were only like $2,000. So I had a limit of $2,000 and not including the monitors behind me, which all in all cost about $300 for both of them. All of this cost a about a thousand dollars so you can create a really nice build by stepping down a little bit so let's go first into the platform that we we're using i chose the intel core i7 this is the 4770 uh, k simply because the 4790k um was like a lot more and there's literally no difference that i can tell um between the two and when graphed on paper they look similar so overclocking this one can get about to the same speed the four gigahertz as the 47 the 4790k so that's going to be good for that now because we went to that platform i had to get a cheaper z97 motherboard so this is the asrock z97 anniversary edition which you can find the unboxing up there or over there somewhere i believe it's up there um i'm gonna put it in one of the corners so then obviously we had to find ram for this which was ddr3 so i got myself a 32 gigabit kit gigabyte kit of the uh cmp 32g uh from corsair this is 1600 megahertz with the CAS latency 10, 10, 10, 27. Now, retail, this is $400 worth of RAM. However, because I shop smart, and I advise you to do the same, check eBay for RAM and motherboards, as well as processors, because sure, the processors, it may be a little hit and miss if they've been overclocked or not, but usually you can get a good deal, and for the RAM, that's what I got. I only had to pay about $110 for this RAM. So moving along to the graphics card. This is the PowerColor uh, Radeon R9 390. So there's no X. It's just a thick ass card with a nice back plate, which I must say that I absolutely love. And you can find my unboxing of that up there as well or again, whichever corner. All right, so moving along to storage. As Linus always says, get hard drive storage that's hell of cheap and a solid state storage drive so that you can have your boot SSD and all of your main programs on, which is what I done. I went with the ADATA uh, 120 gig SSD and this is the SP550 model. I went with the latest version of the Toshiba X300 4 terabyte hard drive. Now, why did I go with this one? Well, that's simply because it was like a hundred and some dollars for four terabytes. That's outrageous. So people will keep saying that it's hit and miss, but this is enterprise grade. So I'll gladly take it. And on top of that, it has 128 megabytes of cash. So that's a pretty good deal if you ask me. Now moving on to our cooler. Okay, so a lot of people recommended that I go with the Hyper 212 Evo, which was about 10 bucks less than this. But the great thing about the Hyper D92 is that it's in a push-pull configuration so that it will pull air faster through the fins of the heatsink so you won't have to worry about when you overclock the processor, which again, we're trying to get that to four gigahertz so that it's comparable for the 4790K, which is what I wanted. Again, not much on paper, but great in actual real-time experiments. So again, the Hyper D92, 
just 10 bucks more on Amazon and it has, again, the push-pull configuration which offers better cooling. Now, on to the power supply. This is where a lot of people are gonna give me hate. I love EVGA and frankly, the 80 plus gold certification that's on this is enough to have sold me. And the fact is, it's a 600, power, 600 watt power supply that only cost me around $70. So I'll go for that. So again, this build is nothing but making compromises on the prices. So the last piece and the shrine that will go, that will be included, like where all of this goes into, is the Corsair Spec 01 Red Edition. Now this is all black, but I've stripped the red out of it simply because on Black Friday, the Be Quiet Pure Wings 2 fans were only about $17 when I bought two of them. So I replaced the front 120 millimeter Corsair fan that had the lights in it with one of the Be Quiet Pure Wings and the back one I installed that in a separate video which you can watch up there. So let's go ahead and get into the build because that's what you guys are here for. Let's get into it. First, identify the corner of your CPU with the gold triangle. Then identify the similar triangle on your motherboard. Next, release the CPU socket cover by releasing the retention arm. Then, lower your CPU carefully into the CPU socket, wiggling it slightly to make sure that it's secure. Then, lower the retention cover and retention arm back into place until the CPU cover pops off. And now, your CPU has been successfully installed. Next, we'll be installing our RAM. First note that I'm using a quad channel kit, so I will need to pull back all four of the clips. However, if you are only using a dual channel kit, pull back on the color coordinated slots. Next, align the slot in the RAM to the notch in the socket, then push firmly on both sides until the clips click into place. Then, repeat until all slots are filled. Now, your RAM is installed. Alright, hey guys, uh, so... I, why am I now sitting here? Why am I recording on Victor? Why am I... I to be honest, I'm going to run some B-roll behind all of this while I explain. Um, I have had to re-record the building of my computer now four times. Seriously, four times. Um, between the camera dying, between the audio problems that I kept having... Um, between everything going wrong with this build, um, the, the build is amazing. Um, and the only thing that has actually changed was that I went from the, uh, Hyper D90, D type, D92, um, and switched to, uh, Corsair H55 liquid cooler simply because the D92 just didn't cool the CPU. I'd be sitting at like 70 degrees most of the time, and that's in Celsius, which is essentially baking the CPU. And that's not good. That's not good. And that's not including when I was actually rendering or playing Minecraft or playing CPU extensive games. Um, so I, I really wanted to make this build log like Linus Tech Tips, and uh, I think I already put him in the cards up there, um, but I wanted to do it like Linus's videos, because I aspire to be Linus. But the fact is, the next time I do a build, I'm going to set my own standard, my own way of doing it. How that is, I don't know. Uh, I may break it up, I may um, do certain parts, I may just talk through it. But the next computer that I build, because I'm going to have to move, um, 
will probably be uh, like a Victor 2.0 or something. Uh, I'll find a name for him. Um, or her. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to call it just yet. Uh, but that computer will probably run on the AMD Zen architecture once it comes out. Um, I'll probably just have to use my laptop until uh, things settle down and I actually have a stable job and income. Um, but God only knows when that will be. Uh, but that's not the point of this video. The point of this video is to show you guys the final product. Um, honestly, I love Victor. Uh, it's running perfectly quiet. Like You guys can probably hear the uh, noise of it. Um, but the only downside is that uh, the Corsair fan that they included, um, it cannot be uh, lowered for the speed. But honestly, I don't want it to be lowered because I have decent uh, temperatures, around 50... Uh, it's usually idling around 23 with a stable overclock at 4.2 gigahertz um, and running perfectly fine with everything else. Um, I was overclocking my GPU, but then I started seeing some um, clipping in some of my videos that I was recording, and it's just like, no, I, I don't want that. I want to give you guys the best experience possible, and clipping isn't one of those things. Um, but possibly in the future when I have room for two GPUs, I may look into custom water cooling and all of that, but that cost an arm and a leg, so probably not going to be anytime soon. Um, but thank you guys for sitting through this. Thank you guys for waiting. Um, the 50 subs video should be up. You guys can check that out up there in that corner. Um, but yeah, the 50 subs video I've uploaded. Thank you guys for 50 subs by now. It could even be more. I don't know. I'm recording this way in the past. Um, because I still, like, I just found that I hadn't finished editing the Victor build log and it's like... You know what? No, I'm just gonna break it down to you guys, tell you guys the truth. So, in the pictures you or and the video, you guys notice that um, there's the red fan that's left in the front. That is gone. Um, I now have both of the Be Quiet fans in that front panel, and the only red is the power LED and the power button. Um, and then in the back is where my rad is, the 120mm uh, rad. Um, for the all-in-one liquid cooler. So, again, all of those parts have been linked down below um, as an updated list. Um, also, if you go to the About section of my um, YouTube channel, it's there as well. And on top of that, if you are watching on a stream or whatnot, it's linked down below. So, clicking those Amazon links really helps me out and helps me uh, keep on going. So thank you guys again for watching, and I will see you all next time. Bye! Yeah.